First Abscam, now Bry Lab, the FBI's code name for the second major sting operation to be disclosed in a week. Bry Lab stands for bribery labor, and it spread a net for official corruption across the Southwest and into the executive branch of government. We have two reports. In Louisiana, the scandal surfaced just as Mardi Gras activities began. The investigation had been going on for a year. Federal sources said several Louisiana politicians and an alleged organized crime figure were paid bribes by FBI men posing as insurance agents. In return, the politicians were to use their influence to help them get lucrative insurance contracts. Democratic Lieutenant Governor Jimmy Fitzmorris is accused of accepting a $10,000 bribe disguised as a campaign contribution. He was an unsuccessful candidate for governor last year. Fitzmorris said he was shocked by the allegations and said he did nothing wrong. Another unsuccessful Democratic candidate, Louis Lambert, is also accused of taking a $10,000 bribe. Lambert said he was somewhat puzzled about the reports. Governor Edwin Edwards, who leaves office in March, was said to be under investigation, but reports said he did not accept any money. Carlos Marcello, seen in this 1966 film, was identified as a Louisiana organized crime boss. Sources said organized crime figures discussed a kickback scheme involving insurance for the Teamsters Union and the International Longshoremen's Association on the Gulf Coast. Marcello had no comment. Investigators started by looking for corruption in union health and welfare insurance plans, but the trail soon led to political figures in four states whom the government now suspects of wrongdoing. Federal sources said there could be a dozen indictments in the next two months. Willie Monroe, NBC News, New Orleans. There's a lot more to the newly... Sorry. Take seven. Newly disclosed undercover operation and corruption in four states. Documents reviewed by NBC News show the FBI discovered a number of federal officials allegedly on the take. One is described in a memo just 10 days old as a sensitively placed corrupt federal official. That official who holds a moderately high post in an executive agency has not been removed from his job, nor his superiors notified. Federal lawmen are assembling further evidence on the man. NBC News has also learned that the undercover operation disclosed that the nation's top organized crime figures were to meet soon in what was described as a massive nationwide conspiracy to carve up criminal territories in the nation, something comparable to the Appalachian New York meeting in 1957. FBI plans to monitor that meeting have been put in abeyance since it's unlikely the meeting will be held now that it's clear the FBI knows about it. Carl Stern, NBC News, Washington.